This brief video is part of a larger series exploring the new NX Measure command. In this video, I'll show you how to measure distances along curves. Distances along curves are going to be measured between points. So we'll choose a point here and uh, choose a point on curve to start our measurement. As we do that, we start to see a, a hint down here below telling us to select another point on a curve or to define a point on curve using the point object to measure if we want to see curve length between two points. So we've got our first point there, we'll select a second point somewhere over here, and we'll see a couple of measurements come up. There's a minimum distance that's the straight line distance between those two. We also have the points on curve length that's showing up down below. Each of these are on a filter over here, so if we want to not show the minimum distance, we can filter that one away. If we want to not show the curve length, we can filter that one away. In this case, we're more interested in the, the points on curve length, so we'll leave that one. We can then redefine either of these points if we want to by moving the point, dragging the point out here, for instance, or reselecting to, uh, to adjust the points on curve. Again, we can grab the other one, maybe take it to the end point of this curve, for instance, to get that kind of a measurement. Now, the interesting thing here is that we can do this same kind of measurement on these kind of points, these kind of curves that are connected, but not necessarily tangent. So here again, we'll do a point on curve. We'll start one point on that end. We have our hint guiding us into this measurement here again. And as we select a second point now, here again, we have the, the minimum distance between those points represented, but also the point on curve length where we're traversing those curves to get to that one. We'll actually automatically find the shorter distance here with the points on curve length, which is kind of interesting. So if we grab the second point right here, bring it this direction, for instance, we see the, the, uh, the points on curve length uh, coming this direction around the, the, the polygon down here. As we get far enough around to the other side, we'll see it automatically jump here to the other uh, path, which is shorter. So, points on curve, again, we'll use two points to define that. We'll notice, we'll, we'll recognize adjacent curves that are not necessarily joined, and, uh, uh, and give you uh, an automatic minimum distance as we do that. 